What's up, mi gente? Welcome to El Sabor, the only Latin music podcast that gives you the hottest flavors of musica latina from all over the world. I'm your host, DJ Mike Cartel, and I go through hundreds of records each month so you don't have to. In this episode, I'm going to give you the top five reggaeton, dembo, and Latin EDM from April 2023. Be sure to hit that follow button and subscribe to catch every single episode. Thank you so much for listening, and without further ado, let's go! Pero tú no estás Yo sé que tienes toda amiga pa' champoliescar Lo que siento por ti me sube por la vértebra Me pone caliente, más ese huevo Quieres salir, yeah Dios te dio mucho tono Y con ese cuerpecito tú me das bendiciones Te trae un bikini, una uca y unos blones Pues no pa' Cartagena pa' escuchar mis canciones Pa' ver si no coge la tarde, es de las cuatro Unos chorritos en la playa y te pongo en cuatro Nos damos una cervecita pa' el guayao Y nos vamos pa' la piscinita en Guaynao Vida. Toma mi mano, solo una noche, ya no te sientas solita Baby girl, si yo te quiero, por ti daría la vida Toma mi mano, solo una noche, ya no te sientas solita Me first time I saw your face, deep in the heart, girl, you take a big place And the way you, you wind your ways, mesmerizing you, me want chase, girl Nights and the longest days, girl. I wanna know what to free. I wanna know what you feel about me, baby. I wanna know what to see. Sexy body, why you bring it on me, baby? I wanna make you believe. Love you more than all my love, burning trees. I wanna make memories with you, baby girl. We say, please don't tease. I get up in your blood capillaries and make families. That's the way I see, girl. See your take care of you. Lo 
hacemos por poco Estamos mezclando whisky con el coco Anda tatuada como los patos locos Bien loca y yo ando loco En el baño lo hicimos por poco Estamos mezclando whisky con el coco Anda tatuada como los patos locos En un bar de Madrid y es de España Dice que piensa en mí Se toca cuando se baña No le importa eso de marca ella Nadie me la daña Más película que eso es saldeña Fuma muy a loca Yo me pongo loco Voy a llegarle, montate en la Mercedes y ve. Se trepa encima, en todas las fotos comenté. Al que era jevo, ya con los muchachos lo orienté y anda. Loca y yo ando loco. En el baño lo hacemos por poco. Estamos mezclando whisky con el coco. Anda tatuada como los patos locos. Esa cabrón ni se imagina que ahora soy quien se lo aplico. Mami, como te lo explico, yo a ninguna le suplico. Pero tú me lo haces rico, lo ves mi dos y lo grito. Hicieron que me busquieras, que de ti yo soy adicto. Quítate el pantalón, como que hace calor. Se lo hice en la escalera, mano en el escalón. Yo le suelto la paca pa' le pa' y pa' el salón. Si me envuelvo, fumando me dice pasa. Los dos bien locos, buscan psiquiatra. Hoy quiero complacer a mi ninfomaniaca. Me oye y se toca, si está bellaca. Si voy de madruga no es pa' dar serenata. Ella sola se remata, versa aquí la bata. Tienes experiencia, tú no eres novata. Ver si tu amiga, ver si sale un chivata. Mira con lujuria cuando se arrebata. Y mami, tú andas loca y yo ando loco. Loca y yo ando loco. Loca, loca, loca y yo ando loco. En el baño lo hacemos por poco. Estamos mezclando whisky con el coco. Anda tatuada como los patos locos. Bien loca y yo ando loco. En el baño lo hicimos por poco. Estamos mezclando el whisky con el coco. Cuando se lo hago yo en ella me enfoco. La rumba y se quejó de la
sin batería Por un hombre que no la llena Yo sé que hoy es noche en satería Si me veré y está peligrosa Que la cama comparte con un mentiroso Pase amor para sus envidiosos Mucho billoteo para la disco falta corta Un piquete cabrón que ni ella misma se soporta Ella llega a la disco guapa pa, pa, pa salir toda sudada y desacata Que hoy hay teteo y que se quiere Después de beber fumo, pa'l borota en la nota. De por si es para bicho, porque dice que mejor se toca sola. Número uno en el ranking, que melones guapa. Y ese culo que ni con todo se tapa. Y ante Flow Carolina, la disco bajo neblina. Por los Philly anda china y perreando como un punto. Ella se adueña en la esquina. No es culpa. La oficina que a la calle descabronar, nar, nar. Y en modo avión el celular. Que ninguno la llame, se lo la joda. Que la venga pa' el liconlear. Se la ríe en la cara, se vira y pichea. Y pa' enamorarla, imposible como caminar el agua. Su noche termina en la peli con mis encaguas. Dándole, dándole más. Dice que es beat, dice que el hombre es trash. Se le fue el cuerpo, lo de buena. Su corazón sin batería. Por un hombre que no la llena. Dios se cae en noche en satería. Sin beber y anda peligrosa. Que la cama comparte con un mentiroso. Pase amor para sus envidiosas.
corazones Cuando ella me lo mueve yo no pienso ni en condones Chiqui jipak toki, chiqui toki 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 Yeah, 
Y me gustan tus...
And that's our mix for April 2023. That's the top five reggaeton, dembo, and Latin EDM. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you hit that rating button and give me five stars. Don't give me four. Give me five. <laughs> you know, and of course, if you're feeling it, and um, give me a follow and subscribe. You know, all good. And if you really want to let me, let me know what you think, hit me up on uh, Instagram and shoot me a DM. And uh, yeah, give me your thoughts. Appreciate it. You know, especially if I miss a song. You know, like, hey, man, this song came out. Why wasn't it included? You should include it in the next one. No problem. Let me check it out. So, um, and I also want to mention, you know, if you're an artist, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the other podcast. I don't think so. But if I did, I didn't. I'm going to mention it again right now. Um, you know, I would really encourage you guys to hit up BPM Supreme Latino and DJ City. Um, that's mostly where I get my music from. Um, I also get it off Spotify. So, you know, of course, make sure you get your stuff on Spotify. But, you know, there's so much stuff on Spotify. And um, if you're not on a certain playlist, you know, I'm going to never find you. You know, um, but on these other services, you know, there's only so many records that come out every month. Uh, so in the beginning, where I said I go through hundreds of records each month, I go through about mm, 300, maybe around there, maybe four. And with all the genres put together, you know, not 300 per genre. Um, like one, like say reggaeton, maybe has like 150 releases a, a, a month. Uh, maybe dembo, maybe like 40 to 50. So, um, so yeah, um, salsa. I don't know, five, three, two. Yeah, it's really low on salsa. But uh, yeah, I would highly encourage you guys, you, your artists out there, you're doing um, uh, Latin music, you know, whether you're in uh, uh, doing house music, reggaeton, whatever, dembo, bachata, merengue, whatever. Hit them up. You know, it's a good opportunity to get your music out there. Uh, a lot of DJs uh, subscribe to those services and you never know, your song could be on a podcast <laughs> or it could be being played in Las Vegas or New York or one of these clubs in LA if I ever get booked over here. <laughs> You know, and uh, as far as DJ Live, it's competitive. You know, I do do a monthly, so I am. I don't. I don't mean to be not not grateful. I do do a monthly. Shout out to the Witches Brew Bar. That's my place out there. I do a monthly out there, and that's uh, where I'm late. Lately, I've been having my Elsa Board parties. So, um, shout out to Edman and the crew, Michelle. You know, thank you guys so much. And I've also been playing at Famous Bar and Pattern Bar. Famous Bars in Glendale and Pattern Bars in downtown. But um, but yeah, you know, so. You know, I just want, you know, make sure I want to get out more, you know, I want to push the El Sabor parties, you know, and there'll be other parties in the name of El Sabor, so heads up about that. Uh, we're going to be doing a Latin house party out here, and um, I don't know, maybe something else, maybe some, um, like a retro, like 80s, uh, indie rock, stuff like that, because Latinos, man, we're all into everything. You know, we may not make all the music, you know, but we do uh, follow a lot of different types of music, especially out here in Los Angeles. And there's a lot of opportunities to create different parties and vibes. So, yeah, definitely keep an eye out. And if you want to know where the next party is going to be or the theme or whatnot, make sure you follow the El Sabor Party and Podcast from on Instagram. And it's exactly like that, El Sabor Party and Podcast. And you'll get all the latest, greatest news. Uh, you'll find out the next uh, things that's coming up. Uh, maybe, you know, we're having an event here, there, whatnot. Um, but yeah, let us uh, make sure you give us a follow. And I say us because right now it's uh, myself and DJ Commotion who will be joining me hopefully in the next month or so. But he's working on mixes. Uh, we're going to be starting a new segment. Um, like I said, top fives are always going to be every Friday. So you count on that. And like I said, I'm going to go through the schedule like I did last podcast, but it's going to be pretty tight. You know, top fives every um, every Friday. But during the middle of the week, hump week, I know that's hard. You know, like two days of the weekend, and you're like, shit, it's Wednesday, man. Like, oh. So anyways, on Wednesdays, and not every Wednesday or every other Wednesday, we're not sure, but on Wednesdays, we're going to be dropping um, as to what party mixes. And Commotion will be doing most of those. Maybe I might get the uh, homie Flicks up in there. Um, but we, yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, definitely um, stay tuned for that. All right. So we'll be having some party mixes dropping on Wednesdays. So uh, that'll be coming up pretty soon, too. All right. But yeah, anyways, uh, as far as this episode, you know, thank you so much for listening again. This is episode number 10. What? Number 10. We're at number 10. So uh, thanks a lot. And we also broke a thousand downloads. What? So that's awesome. Um, you know, and uh, that means a thousand of you all gave me a sample. You gave me a hearing and maybe you're all coming back for more. That's all. Uh, that's all good. But I'm just so happy that, um, you know, there was a thousand opportunities out there. And hopefully from those thousand opportunities, you know, it keeps growing because it is. You know, I'll share a little something with you. You know, my first week, I only got like about 17, 17 downloads. 17 of y'all just went, Boop, I'll check it out. And now I'm up to about 150 a week, you know, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So that's awesome. You know, thank you guys so much. And that's all I can ask for, you know, build on small wins. You know, it's not like I'm the number one podcast or even like the number 1,000. I don't know what it is, but um, definitely we're doing something different here. 
you know, uh, there's not, I haven't found any other Latin music podcast that's doing what we're doing. And I say we because we're a community and I wouldn't be doing this without you guys, without your feedback, without your downloads, without your comments. And I really do appreciate that, you know, so that's why I really encourage you guys to follow the, um, again, <laughs> it's about party and podcast on Instagram. And, uh, you know, start, you can start seeing uh, what I'm sharing, different kind of memes, funny stuff. And, um, yeah, just anything about dancing, you know. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, anyways, make sure you check that out, okay? And thanks again for your support. Um, really do appreciate that. So, for this episode, like I said, um, top five reggaeton, dembo, and Latin EDM. And I just want to talk about the Latin EDM. Um, I know it's going deeper and deeper in the house. So... I get that. So as far as, you know, the, the music's concerned, I get that, you know. But um, out here, it is referred to as Latin EDM so still, you know. And uh, I don't want to alienate people or, or confuse people by just calling it house, you know. But there's a big audience for this type of music. And I feel like it's just a big resurgence for house, period. And uh, Latin house is just a, a piece of that. You know, there's tech house, future house, um, progressive, of course, still out there. Um, and techno, techno's coming back. But anyways, yeah, that's it's pretty awesome, you know. And so anyways, yes, I, I am aware I'm going deeper and deeper in these tracks. And I hope you guys like it, you know, um, because I just want to showcase, you know, not just uh, top 40 remixes and stuff, which I know I did. <laughs> There's one in there, right? The Sean Paul one, Get Busy. But um, and actually, that's in the Dembo section. But, you know, I mean, hey, oh, actually, I did do a top 40, the Grupo Frontera. Hello. And um, with the Bad Bunny, but it's such an awesome remix, you know, so I can't hate it on it just because, oh, it's top 40, it's already a hit. Um, you know what? If it's a good, good song, I'm, I'm going to put it on. So whatever, you know, and um, like I said, I, I'm still using that term Latin EDM. So we'll see how it goes, you know, as far as far as it, as far as the, the next episode goes. But um, for the meantime, we're not even next episode for the next few months. Going to keep it that way. But yeah, I hope you guys are, are feeling the Latin house vibes on there. You know, and like I said, we're going to be having a Latin house part, uh, party coming up pretty soon, hopefully in the summer. Well, actually not hopefully, it's going to be in the summer. So he- I'll be, uh, make sure you tune in for that and uh, not tune in, make sure you show up, you know, I and mean, let's uh, dance the night away, you know, some house music and, uh, you know, those Latin house vibes. So yeah, uh, as far as the top five I picked, you know, um, Definitely uh, one of my favorite producers, Corneto, DJ Morpheus. I had to showcase their stuff again. And, um, yeah, definitely, you know, make sure you follow them on Instagram. Um, especially Corneto, he's, and, uh, not especially Corneto, but both of them, they're, they're amazing. You know, and Morpheus, he's been doing work with uh, Daddy Yankee. You know, he did the song Bon Bon. And so definitely he's, he's, you know, he's coming up, you know, and hopefully we can hear more music for him. But I'm pretty sure you've seen their names coming up over and over and just, you know, it's kind of some of my favorite DJs and producers. And um, in the past, you know, I'm not sure if I mentioned these. My other favorites are like Sergio Villanueva, uh, Jesus Fernandez. Um, oh, I found a new producer named Chusi. What's up, Chusi? Um, out in Mexico, Monterrey. And uh, he did the Grupo Frontera remix with SBM from last episode. That Latin pop remix, which is really dope. So make sure you check him out. And, um, yeah, so definitely, like I said, I want to showcase different producers, different DJs that just, you know, um, maybe don't have a large following or any, or it doesn't even matter to me. If I hear the song, I like it, I'm going to put it on. So yeah, if you're a DJ out there again, shoot me your songs and I'll, I'll definitely check it out. But, um, one of the songs I wanted to talk about from, um, Cartel de Santa, man, that guy's been, been out for a while and, but he hasn't put out music in a while. So Definitely surprised to hear a new song from him, Shorty Potty. Um, I did do the house remix, but make sure you check out the original, okay? It's Latin hip-hop, Latin trap. And uh, I'm going to see if I can feature it in, in this next episode. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes because there's so much music coming out. Um, and that song did come out last month, and I missed it. But I definitely want to give a little shout-out to that song from Cartel de Santa. Um, that is a party banger, Shorty Party, right? And um, as far as the reggaeton, I would say the song that popped out for me the most was the new um, Mariah Angelique song, um, Peligrosa. Just definitely one of those uh, songs that has a we call it the earworm. You know, it's super catchy. Her vocals are on point. The cadence is just, oh, man, it's, I love it. Um, nothing I don't like about that song. So that's definitely my favorite reggaeton out of, out of, the, uh, out of the group. But there was other good songs down there too, right? The one from uh, Fed and Sean Paul, uh, Niña Bonita. That one's awesome. Whiskey Coco remix uh, with Mike Towers, Ozuna, Justin Quiles. Um, but yeah, you know, definitely um, some good music coming out. And so much good music, I had to make it a top 10, right? 
So make sure you stay tuned for next episode where you get the next five uh, reggaeton, dembo, and Latin EDM. And as far as dembo, um, it's going to be a nice segue into my my album review, which I remember I said last time I'm going to do, I'm going to do it this, this time, today, all right? <laughs> and that's from Kiko El Crazy, and his new album is Pila de Teo. So make sure you check that out. Uh, he dropped that, I believe, April 19th or 20th, but yeah, late April. So it just came out. And uh, featured one of his songs from the album there. And I'm just letting you know, because next episode, I'm probably going to be featuring two or three. Because um, I was going to feature more, but um, like I said, there's other songs too I wanted to feature. I want to give everybody a little chance. And uh, not that I know them, but definitely in the mix, you know, some variety. But there's so many good songs on that album. So many good songs. I can't just pick one, you know, and just say, oh, this is the best one, which is for my favorite one is uh, Mueverlo, you know, and uh, with John Z. But with the on Z, but anyway, so yeah, you know, I mean, there's so many good songs on here. My rating for the album, um, going with my one through five stars, I would definitely give it a four stars, four out of five. And the only reason I, I won't give it a five is because I think it needed a little bit more female MCs in there, just more variety for the different sounds, you know. Um, there's a really good review if you want to check out an in depth review uh, from a really talented uh, writer. It's on Pitchfork, and her name's uh, Isabella Heredia. But check out her review, and she breaks it down, you know. And uh, when I read the review, I was like, you know what? She has a point. Yeah, where's the women? You know, and just some good playful, you know, songs go back and forth. You know, especially the songs are, are hypersexual, some of these songs. So, you know, there's a lot of dudes on here, man. <laughs> and not to say they're not, they're talented, they're talented. And I'm not talking about, you know, you got to be diverse and have equal amount of dudes, equal amount of girls. It's just like, it sounded like it was lacking in that department. So that, anyway, so that's why I didn't give it a 10. You know, I felt like he could have had Tokisha on there. Um, Isabella had mentioned that. And some other artists, maybe even Rosalia. You never know. But anyways, there's a lot of talented artists out there. And definitely, um, I think the album would have benefited more from that. But as far as the album goes, oh, man, it's a party. It's a party from beginning to end. So if you love Dembo, um, if you're trying starting to get introduced to the sound and um, you want to check it out, check out the album. Because um, the, the sound's kind of all over the place. But it's all party mode. Um, it's really interesting as far as the beats go. I mean, and, um, yeah, I mean, you, so it's, I think it's only 36 minutes, the whole album from beginning to end, uh, 15 tracks. And you could probably just push play from the beginning when you're getting ready to go to the club, you know, if you're going out to the Dembo club or you're going to a Perreo or whatever. And by the time it finishes, man, you're either going to hit replay again or you're hyped up and you're already, you know, you're on one. <laughs> so it's definitely a party record, party album. And it's, it's dope, though. It's consistent. You know, like I said, um, it could have benefited more from some more female vocals, female MCs, more playful um, uh, songs like that as far as going back and forth. But the songs that are there, they're dope. Every single song, um, I'm pretty sure I'll be adding to my set, you know, and then depending on the, how the crowd reacts, you know, I'll, I'll figure out, you know, if I'm going to replay them or not. But they definitely get the opportunity to, <laughs> the opportunity to be played because um, they all have um, real catchy hooks. You know, which you need to have in tempo, right? I mean, without the hook, it ain't shit, right? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, I need the hook. You know, what's the hook, you know? And, um, and yeah, definitely he's, uh, um, he's one of the big dudes out here doing the damn thing with Dembo. He's from the Dominican Republic, you know? And um, check him out. Kiko the Crazy. Follow him on Spotify. Um, he does a lot of features with other artists, too. Um, El Alfa co-signed for him. So, you know, El Alfa co-signed for him, you know he's he's a shit. You know, but uh, definitely check out his album. I don't want to get too far into it, but if you want a more in-depth uh, review of it, like I said, make sure you go to Pitchfork and check out uh, Isabella Herrera's uh, Herrera, Herrera, my bad, Isabella Herrera's um, re review of it. And she goes really deep, and it's an awesome review she does, you know. And she talks about um, how he was started as an artist and then how other uh, Latin artists are borrowing from him, like Bad Bunny and Rosalia. And he's just a real pioneer in this whole um, Dembo movement, you know. So that's an awesome article. I learned some stuff from it, so make sure you check that out, all right? And then um, lastly, I just want to talk about something really quick and also kind of goes into this whole like, thing of um, this new mu emergence of Latin music, which is, you know, I talked about that one of the reasons I started this podcast is because there's so much good music, right? And I'm like, it's the golden era. It's the golden age. This is it. We're in it right now. And then I'm listening to this other podcast, which I told you, you know, I, I listen to other podcasts called The Reflections of a DJ. <laughs> and I'm reflecting as a DJ, you know, and I'm like, you know what? I got that wrong. You know, this ain't the golden age. And it was well put by um, DJ Crooked, uh, Neva, and uh, Jamie the Great. 
that this is the Platinum Age. And, and, and it's a really dope episode. Make sure you guys check it out. The, I think I believe it's called the Latino, um, the Latino MJ. And they're talking about Bad Bunny, you know, and if he is the next Michael Jackson or if he is Michael J- the, the Michael Jackson of our time, you know. And that's also an interesting topic. But, um, yeah, as far as them talking about the, the music and where, where we are right now with Latin music, I think they hit it right on the head, you know. And, um, and they were equating it to hip hop. So I'm going to be paraphrasing their convo. So if you want to check it out, make sure you check it out because they go deep. You know, and um, so what, what it is, is they're comparing it to hip hop. So hip hop's golden age, you know, arguably is like 80s and 90s. You know, you got Run DMC, uh, Nas, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, uh, Gangstar, Tropical Quest, whatnot. It's the, it's the, the best, right? This is starting out. Um, hip hop started in the 70s, of course, but in the 80s and 90s, that's when it really came into, you know, its own thing. And then in the 2000s, that's what we call the golden age. Then in the 2000s, that's when everyone started making money. Every single album was dropping, was going platinum, like Ludacris, 50 Cent, Eminem. Uh, who else was there? Um, uh, Little John. So it was the start of the whole uh, Dirty South movement coming up with T.I. Um, and of course, Jay-Z. Hello. You know, um, and Drake came in the 2010s. But yeah, that's the, they call the platinum age in, in hip hop. Uh, right now, I think it's the aluminum foil age. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just not feeling it right now. You know, I mean... <clears throat> just considering the fact that hip-hop is just so dance-oriented to me, there's just not enough dance hip-hop out there, you know? So anyway, this is a Latin music podcast, not a hip-hop music podcast. So let's get back to the topic. But anyways, the reason I bring that up is because um, they were uh, comparing it to the Latin music movement these, th- that's happening right now. And so when you look at, say, the golden age of hip-hop with the pioneers uh, uh, and stuff and who really brought it out into the quote-unquote mainstream, um, that happened in the 2000s with um, reggaeton. You know, with Daddy Yankee, Plan B, Hector El Fader, uh, Tito El Bambino, Nicky Jam, uh, Tego Cal- Calderon. They were the, the golden age of reggaeton. They're the ones that brought it out from, you know, Puerto Rico and the, the streets to the radio. And, you know, especially with Gasolina and everything like that. Everything like that. And, um, and so when you look at reggaeton, you know, they kind of maybe had a, a little down period, you know, in the, um, the 2010s, maybe the late 2010s, but now, and not just reggaeton, you got, like I told you, Dembo is coming out. I mean, I think that's going to be super, super hot this summer. I'm just waiting for the summer hit, which is going to be some Dembo song. And, um, and then you got, uh, Latin EDM house is coming back. I mean, and, and Latin EDM is kind of riding that wave of house music coming back. Um, bachatas all over the radio. I'm hearing more merengue on the radio. Um, I just did a party this past week. I got requests for salsa. So, I mean, it's, and the music is so good. Like, like I told you, it's so good. There's so many songs. Um, I don't have enough gigs to play them all. So this is one of the reasons I started this podcast because I wanted to share this music and, you know, I keep uh, downloading all this stuff and I'm like, when am I going to play all of this stuff? You know, because, you know, let's be honest. I mean, I don't know if, you guys go to parties, you know, you go to clubs, but a lot of times I get requests for the same songs over and over, which is okay. You know, I, I want you guys to dance and me too. You know, I want to hear songs I recognize. So when I'm, I'm buzzing, you know, I'm singing along, but you know, in the middle of those hits, I want to hear some new stuff, you know? So give me a hit and then give me maybe two songs and something new. Maybe make me pull out my phone so I can Shazam it, you know? And um, that's how I try to the DJ out there. The DJs that I follow, I, I really like like DJ Pau, um, La Cita, I always talk about him make, make sure you go on saturday nights here's how he that's how he mixes you know and i love it and um sprinkling the new tracks you know but uh you know as far as other djs around here you know it's kind of tough you know shout out to DJ, dj intensity he's always coming up with new songs too every damn week so shout out to him he's a dope working dj um but yeah a lot of djs you know they play the same songs they get comfortable you know especially if we're doing weddings and quinceaneras bar mitzvahs yeah we do those too <laughs> and um you know we get we get caught up in that so anyways, long story short, yeah, this is the platinum age, and there's just not enough opportunities to play the music, and um, this is one of the reasons why I started the podcast, but yeah, think about it, you know, we got with Bad Bunny, um, Rosalia, uh, Carol G, she's not doing stadium tours, what? She's going to be at the Rose Bowl, I think, in August, um, but anyway, she's doing stadium tours all over the United States, you know, that's what Bad Bunny did last year, um, Raul Alejandro, he just did, a, he's doing a worldwide tour right now, not stadiums, but I mean, they're big they're big, big places, you know, and um, Anuel Doble uh, A is coming out, um, Archangel's coming out. I mean, it's just one after the other. 
you know. So anyway, so yeah, I just thought I'd just bring that up and make sure you guys check out that episode. It was really cool. It's called the Latino MJ on the Road Podcast, Reflections of a DJ. And uh, they really broke it down. But I just want to say, I just want to reiterate, <laughs> you know, and go back and kind of do a correction that uh, I believe we are in the platinum age, you know. And so big ups to all Latino artists out there, all, all the DJs playing the music. You know, you don't necessarily have to be Latino to play the music. I don't believe in that bullshit. Just, you know, if you're playing the music, you're playing the music, representing. And I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. So um, thank you guys for uh, supporting the podcast. That's awesome, too, because, you know, it's something I guess I think was needed. And um, definitely something that, you know, that uh, hopefully you all appreciate. So with that said... Make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure you rate me. Make sure, make sure you give me a good rating. Uh, five stars would be great. I'd take a four if that's okay. But, you know, for sure. Thank you again, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.